What I have not heard from this president is a thank you to those veterans who have served in the global war on terror. I'm immensely grateful for the bravery and backbone that they have shown through nearly two decades of combat deployments. We're incredible. The country, they owe you. And we as a nation are eternally grateful. I want to honor <clears throat> the significance of what they've accomplished and the great personal risk they encountered and the incredible cost to their families. Not once has he expressed empathy and gratitude to the men and women who have put the uniform on and have fought so bravely overseas the last 20 years to keep our homeland safe. And I feel that by not acknowledging his gratitude for them, he's diminishing their service. We as a nation are forever indebted to them and to their families. Over the past 20 years, our volunteer force and our military families have made incredible sacrifices for this country. You're incredible. You're incredible. The country, they owe you. And today, that number is 7,036. 7,036 fallen angels have lost their lives in these conflicts. And on this Memorial Day, we honor their legacy and their sacrifice. I want to recognize the incredible sacrifice and dedication that the U.S. military and civilian personnel serving alongside our allies and partners have made over the last two decades in Afghanistan. And I ask that you join me now in a moment of silence for all those in uniform and out of uniform military and civilian who have given the last full measure of devotion. Thank you. May God bless you all, and may God protect his troops and all those standing watch for America. A lot of our veterans and their families have gone through hell. Deployment after deployment, months and years away from their families, missed birthdays, anniversaries, empty chairs at holidays, financial struggles, divorces, loss of limbs, traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress, duty, honor, country. They lived for it. They died for it. And we as a nation are eternally grateful. I want to thank you all for your service and the, and the dedication to the mission so many of you have given and to the sacrifices that you and your families have made over the long course of this war. Not once has he expressed empathy and gratitude